developed, pre-developed, and I'm just actually um, copying some stuff. So I'm using my own notes, and mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, you know, taking uh, taking uh, some of those notes and transferring it to my map and explaining to kids this is how you would design it. But this was also learning for me too, yeah. right? And I realized after I had done this that it, I thought it wasn't really good enough. Mm -hmm. Like I thought, okay, I need to now get kids to go yeah. ahead and and, and uh, start to think about those various networks in the mind map, sure, and, and how they align to support a particular s narrative, particular story, right? Which is why I ended up going home and redeveloping this again with more detail, because what this lacked was detail, mm. yeah, right? And I wanted to convey kids the importance of secondary research, so how do you get them to get to secondary research, and you actually need to go and access resources online to learn about the life cycle of a particular product, in this so case. So you can build up your network. Right? So you can build up your network. My networks, that's a good, we're, we're not very full here. So when I went home and redeveloped this, yeah. the following day kids were in the library. So then I re-explained and showed this, and the immediate reaction was the kids were a bit overwhelmed, because while you look at a mind map, uh, yeah. It's, it's too much, right? So what I did was, I actually had groups of kids come up. I would say, okay, this group, could you come up here? And I would have this up on the wall, and I would have them huddling around, you know, me yeah. in the center, and say, okay, let me take you through what I did here in small individual groups. Oh, wow. What, was, what, what did the other groups do while you were doing that? They were doing some research oh, right. in the library. Oh. So what they were doing is they were accessing, some were watching the story of cosmetics, some were watching the story of stuff again, some were, oh. some had their personal hygiene product and they were researching what chemicals in the, in the you know, uh, were, were, were hazardous in those particular products. But while I was conferencing and having, yeah. you know, small groups huddling around and I was re-explaining how yeah. they need to do this. And this is all happening in the library. This is all happening in the library. So, um, but the evolution of these things, like this is one good example of a kid who, what he did was, so first he started off with something really yeah. incomplete, like, you know, lacking in the details of the networks. Yeah. And then, you know, he kept adding more to it. Mm -hmm. So he reconsidered. In any way he organized it was really interesting because at first he was organizing it, if I could just, in a, in a very rough way, Effects on society, effects on individuals, effects on environment, right. and then he had here corporations. Okay, so um, he thought somehow the corporations, the effects on corporations were important as well as part of the major branch of the mind map. Then he revised it again, and this time he organized it in the major branches, I'm saying, as ingredients mm -hmm. uh, in the bodies, in the ads body spray, uh, wording labels, um, the manufacturers, the packaging, and and I look at some of the major things. Then he revised it again. And bigger. And bigger now. So okay, clearly we need to expand our networks and we to include more. This time he looked, he stuck with the same major branches as manufacturing uh, industry trade group, uh, raw materials, packaging, media. And then the final part was when I had, um, I guess, instructed them about some of the networks and how to yeah. you know, code those networks, that he, and also stakeholders. That was the other important part that I had introduced was this idea that there are various stakeholder networks. Yeah. And so his final revised map actually was organized around various stakeholder networks. So corporations, um, labor workers, consumers, governments, Right, and so that's how he chose to organize his particular network. I'm, I'm right? wondering about the logistics. 